checking that out yeah, yeah good to have you in the house man thanks for Kick having it me off the farm club yeah this is crazy man. absolutely give it up one time for the farm club yeah Woo! that's pretty cool you know we have a website where people can upload their music you know there are thousands of tracks up there that people can download for free people can vote for their favorite artists to be on the show some artists will even get signed to the label now dre let's talk about your new record 2001. It's an right. amazing album, man. Thanks a lot. Let's talk about me. <laughs> We're gonna talk about you too, Shady. No question right. about it. Now it's been seven years. I mean, we had the aftermath thing, you know, and uh, we had a couple tracks in, in the middle, but a lot of stuff was going on. You left Death Row. Why did, why did it take about seven years to get the right album? Out? Um, I just had to get motivated, you know, come up with some Meet concepts. Me. Yeah, me, Eminem. Get get down with some creative people that I really wanted to work with. You know what I'm saying? So it just took that long to put it together. Yeah, well, it came out great. The album's amazing, and it's doing amazing. There are a lot of rumors floating around about how you guys ended up getting hooked up. So, Dre, I heard a story that you found Shady's uh, tape on the floor. Now, well, Eminem, I also heard something that he might have heard you freestyling on the radio here in L.A. Is that true? Which is That's what I heard, so you can bring truth to it right now. Right. What is the story, Dre? Um, I was actually um, over one of the people's houses who put this together, Jimmy Iovine, and um, he played the tape for me, and... I wanted to work with him from that point. It was that was just it. Yeah, now there's yeah. a new uh, NWA track in the Ice Cube's movie next Friday. Now what's the latest on NWA reunion? Is this going to happen? This album, Dre? Um, hopefully, there's a lot of talk about it. We just have to wait and see if the powers that be let it happen. We'll see. Absolutely. Now I was in the studio with you guys the other night. I heard at least a couple tracks from the next Eminem record. You're working on that album right now. Right. What right, can right. we expect from that, Shady? <laughs> can I say it? <laughs> yeah, say it. Say it. <laughs> That's, a, <laughs> it's that's amazing. what you expect from my next album. You get, the, you get the clean version of my next album, it's going to sound like this. <laughs> you know? What do you think, Trey? I mean, it's, it's an amazing uh, growth from the last one, too. Yeah, the album is incredible. I mean, everybody that loved the first album, are, they're really going to get into this one. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, we're waiting for the picket signs and what have you because of some of the things he's saying, but it's going to be a wild one. We look forward to that. You guys are pretty hooked up with the Hip Hop Underground. Tell me, are there any great rappers you've heard lately that we should check out? Anybody that you, that's really... He put us on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's considered underground. I'm, I'm really into Feral Munch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like him. Yeah, Feral Munch is dope. Feral Munch oh, is yeah, dope. I mean, Hitman, Hitman is not going to be underground anymore, though. That's my next protege. Hitman, he's the next he's the next cat that's coming out. You can see him at the end of the Forgot About Dre video doing this thing. He's side straight from LA, South Central, you know, doing it like that. Absolutely, man. Well guys, great having you here. You're gonna perform again in a little while.